with every transaction comes a sweet satisfaction as I cement my place in Uh, hello, everybody, and welcome to I Sell Comics, the weekly comic report with Mike and Ming broadcasting from Jane Sambot Secret Stash. My name is Ming Chen. Um, sitting next to me, he, he's 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 breaking news, everybody. He's got a scoop. I've got he's a got, scoop. He's got huge news. We've gathered together you- today, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, We're recording to, this ahead of time. Hold on, let's let's give them the scoop, Ming. Uh, although it might look like we're live, we're not. I know no, we look not. like, uh, yeah, <laughs> but um, we look younger than we really are. Do we look one day younger than, two days. than we would? Well, two days, two days, two days younger, day and a half yeah. younger. Wow, you really let yourself go oh in those two days. What oh, happened? Dude. What I happened to you, dude? <laughs> lots and lots of fried foods. What can I tell wow. you? Wow. All right, you eat a lot of red meat. I'm worried I about <laughs> you. It's a lot of un- <laughs> Thank nine you, Nick. pounds of undigested that, red meat. That never not is not funny. No, no. Look, it looks more like um, looks more more than nine pounds in your case. That's but, probably uh, more than nine pounds. Yeah. Yes. Uh, real 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 quick. I saw Judge Reinhold the other day. He was at Pentagon. Right. Yeah. It looks good. Looks good. I just need. Oh, to that's awesome. That. Did you go up to him and say, "Hey, Kevin's rebooting uh, Clerks the animated series," and this I, joke will never I, not be? I funny. did not. Is that happening? No, I'm just saying. Oh man, why not? I That'd for, be great. I forgot it? he was in that. Uh, and your, yes, your he lawful, was. And your hunter, your lawful, <laughs> level Judge Reinhold. Yes. Yeah. What? So huge news. You very very huge news. This is Wednesday, so you may um, have seen yesterday. Yes, you as you may have seen yesterday. Huge, um, huge news. Press release came yes. out. Yes. And changing the world of comics. Yes, it is changing. Yes. Could life could be life changing for all of us. Yes, it, it and well, it will be. Are you going to read? I, I, I'm going to read how, it. How do you want to do this? Okay. All right. Uh, Kevin Smith and Secret Stash Press roll up with Dark Horse Comics. Did you hear that, folks? Dark Horse Comics and Kevin Smith with his own imprint, Secret Stash Press. That's crazy. How awesome is that, Ming? What? Has this happened before? I don't think the, the, the secret stash, Kevin Smith, has never launched his own publishing arm. He is never. Enough. Why has it taken this long? I just think that Kevin's primed right now, and you know he's he's this is his way of, this is his second big way of showing the world that comics aren't going anywhere. Yeah. Because during the pandemic, we're all a little bit worried. Um, you know, everybody was thinking that everybody's going to digital. Guess what, folks? Not going to happen. It's not. Um, This is from Milwaukee, Oregon. Dark Horse Comics, along with Kevin Smith's Secret Stash Press, is thrilled to announce a new line of comics penned by the award-winning writer-director himself. The line will launch in the fall of of 2022 with Masquerade, an eight-issue masked Avenger tale about a budding vigilante, followed by Quick Stops, an ongoing anthology series set in the world of Smith's View Askew movies, featuring characters from such cult classic films as Clerks, Mallrats, Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back, and more! (laughs) Smith's publishing plans go beyond his own books, expanding the line with titles from other creators as well. Which is That could be you. Huge. That could be you. Could be you. Watching right now. Could be Listening right now. Could be us. Could be. Could be. Could there be a, a Ming Chen comic book in the future? Well, I we'll, like to think so. Well, we'll get to that. First of all, um, congratulations to everybody all around. Kevin, uh, this is huge news. Thank came, you for letting us talk about this. It came out of nowhere. Yeah. It's a uh, no inkling. Uh, where, when did, I'm sure, I, I assume, did you get a heads up? Is this oh, news yeah. to you? Yeah. No, up, no, okay. this isn't brand spanking new to okay. me. I've, How long has this been in the making? Can you reveal? I can't. Okay. I'm, a I'm while. Still, yeah, it's been uh, quite a while, though. Okay, and secondly, mm-hmm. when was the last time Kevin wrote a comic? The last it's been Ke- a long time. Well, no, he he wrote uh, well, Masters, Masters of the Universe, Universe. right? Yes. But like an original comic. Um, he did a run on Hit Girl. Um, okay, for Image Comics. Right again, not his property. Not though. his property, though. Uh, these are all Kevin Smith owned, so this is fantastic. Just, last time he did it was it's been years, I believe. Oni Press. Yeah. So. Uh, Clerks, Clerks Holiday Special, Clerks of the Lost Scene, right? Um, Jane Silent Bob. Bob. Yep. So it's been Blunt Man and Chronic, the Blunt trade Chronic, paperback. But this is we're talking twenty, twenty-five years. Yeah. Uh, well, not twenty-five years, but twenty years. Yeah. Eighteen years. 
17, somewhere in there. Wow. I, I mean, why not? Did he say, maybe tell you why he got re-inspired? Maybe not re-inspired, but... He's always loved comic books, and he is one of the biggest comic book rooters out there. Okay, so. and obviously your first question is like, are you writing a series? Like, you're going to finish this one, right? I would. <laughs> that is that. never my yeah. first I kid, question. I kid, I kid, <laughs> I kid, I kid. Come on, man, come on. I know, I know who on. signs my paychecks. Yeah, I, come on. You know. I can't get fired anymore, so, <laughs> yeah. Come You'll on, never come be on. fired come enough. Come on, you know you were thinking it. That's, you know you were thinking it. You out people there. out there are thinking it, and shame on you. What if he was like, "Hey, man, so like, I don't really feel like finishing this. So here, could you do it?" I think well, I would have to. I mean, <laughs> he's Kevin, like, "Here, here, you know, you read comics, right? You can, can you, you know?" I, I would have to. You know, <laughs> I don't know if it would have the Kevin Flair. No, probably no, not. No. Well, I mean, by you know, by you, proxy. You could, Let's hope. Yeah, you know, it would be kind of like remember when George, uh, if any gone at George Press, like oh, he kind of had a mental breakdown, and they handed off the um, was it Ron Genty or who? who no, took it was over? Ron Lim. Ron Lim. Ron Lim yeah. took over uh, George Perez because he had a he was like, man, I can't. But are there? Well, his his hand. I mean, how I know, many I characters? Know. For God's sake! I know. I know. I'm uh, just I'm trying to make like bad analogies here. Well, JLA Avengers almost broke poor George. So yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but um. Wow, I mean, this is this is huge. You want to hear what Mike Richardson, the Dark Horse Comics president and founder, has I to would say love about this? To, I would love to hear this. All right, this is directly from Mike Richardson. Okay. I've been a fan of Kevin's films for years. The fact is, we have much in common. We both worked in our own comic shops, worked in the film business, but most of all, have a passionate love for the comics medium. Wow. It only makes sense for us to finally team up, and I am extremely proud to announce his exciting new line of comic books and graphic novels here at Dark Horse. Kevin has a brilliant creative mind, and I can't wait to see what he is in store for all of us. I I mean, I love this. I may be a little biased, mind you, but... We uh, may be a little biased, right. so yes. I'm, but I'm, Secret Stash Press, the Secret Stash the Store, yes. uh, Comic Book Men... Right, you know Kevin's long history in comic books. Uh, this is a, a this is a long time coming. In my this opinion. is the next evolution, and this is. Uh, would you like to hear what ha Kevin has to say about? I this? would love to. Twenty twenty two marks the twenty fifth anniversary of my comic book store, Jay and Silent Pop Secret Stash, and after a quarter century of selling comics, the Secret Stash is going to make our own comics. Following the recipe written uh, written by Mike Richardson eons ago when he turned his comic shop into a legendary comic book publisher, the Secret Stash is ready to take the next step in its evolution. I'm ecstatic for Secret Stash Press to become a part of the Dark Horse Multimedia Empire, and I hope our books will bring new customers into comic shops and delight regular readers from all around the world. And that's Kevin Smith, the award-winning filmmaker. Yeah, man, I would love to know the backstory, though. Did they approach him? Did he approach that? Like, who approached who? How, I, yeah, we don't know. We don't know. I guess there's only one way to find out. We have to, we have to ask, ask Kevin. Man or Mike so, yeah. Richardson. Um, you know, uh, Dark Horse. I, I love their licensed stuff from before. Star Wars, Aliens. Oh, sure. But and, they've um, done original stuff like Hellboy. Yes. And, I mean, they've launched Sin City. Yes. That was one of theirs. Uh, Hellboy. Yes. BPRD. I mean, this is it's a multimedia empire. And, you know, I love Dark Horse. Yeah. Now, um, to, now to get to the selfish part here, uh, you know, it said, you know, Kevin's going to write, but yeah, it's open to other people as well. Uh, could that be open to anybody who might be? Hey, I wrote a script. No, could don't this... send them here. No, do I, not. I'm send not them talking here. about <laughs> those guys. I'm talking about us, bro. Oh, us. Awesome. Do you think yeah. if we wrote, you know, I got, I got a couple vague ideas that could be, we could That's, put pen we'll, and paper. We'll, we can. We know them artists. Out. You know, could we? Uh, yeah, could we maybe me, me or you pitch a book? Not, Why not? not even only pitch. We know artists. Maybe we could even create one and be like, hey, what do you think of this? Like, even have a completed book. Can you imagine you, you go and Kevin just uh, reads it, looks at you, <laughs> pulls out his lighter, lights it up, lights the entire comic book up. And, I, and honestly, that's the, what I would expect yeah. to happen. But now we <laughs> actually have a chance of getting it published. <laughs> There's a okay. chance that it could be part. I mean, I imagine... I, I mean, I don't know who else he's collaborating with. It said other voices, other yes, people. Yes, there are going to be other voices. You know, you go within the family first, right? You go with family. Sure. That's true. Unless it sucks that bad. He's like, Fuck it. Yeah, that, <laughs> wow, that, that He's like, hold quick. on, wait. All right, good. Thank oh, you. Oh, he smokes <laughs> it? He, he, he smokes yeah, the book? Yeah, how cool would that be? Oh, how about a book with a like weed? A weed smokable? The, like it's got weed oh, in the pages. Man. And you could smoke it. That would be so cool. Yeah, I mean, only legal in you know thirty-two states or that's whatever. That's fine. But I, I'm, hey, I'm, that's thirty-two more than we had uh, a couple of years ago. 
But I mean, I would think that if you know, I know you've had ideas, or you've been working on, on this book and record for like eighteen years. <laughs> yes, I got a couple of vague ideas, but I'm not. You know, I, I've been too intimidated to put pen to paper. But if there were a chance of us getting a comic book out, like there's no, this is it. This is the shot. I know. know. This is yeah. If if this book and record don't go through, I mean, I'm. It, well, it, I mean, it really does suck. So I, I mean, not only that. I mean, there, there's there's independent publishing. We have, of course, we could hire. Sure. An, Write something, hire an artist, get it published by our friends at say Kablam Publishing. Okay, go out to cons like we do and sell it ourselves. But you know, or hey, Meg, can I put my comic in the store? <laughs> we could sell it independently. Yeah, I can but, go around doing that to all the, the the guys who are like, hey, aren't you from Secret Stash? Sure, but you know that that requires an investment and you know, pay an artist, right. whatever. I think to get even more attention and wider distribution, this is the shot right here. Yeah, perfect. This is the motivation right here. If you if you've ever had an idea, this would be the time to do it. Uh, yes, it's true. And let me tell you, folks, do not send scripts here. I will have to throw them out. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, because we will not accept unsolicited unsolicited <laughs> scripts. Number one, number two, we're still a comic book store. Sure. So, sure. and I'm I'm not gonna have like, uh, can you imagine? It's like, um, you go in the back and it's like an old newspaper room. Right. You got the guy with the visor on there going, ah, stop the presses, stop right, the presses. Right. I got one. Yeah. I yeah, I got one, Maury. No, no, send your send your pictures to Valerian or something. Mm-hmm. Like or <laughs> dark or send them to Dark Horse. Why not? Yeah, I mean, well, yeah, well. if they're good, you know, just but do it right. So could this mean, uh, you know, Dark Horse cons? They usually have a booth that say New York Comic Con. Right. Could there be a secret stash imprint booth at a Comic Con? I'm thinking yes. Okay. I'm thinking yeah, that'd be really cool. You know, with scheduled signings by uh, some of the secret stash imprint creators. That would be very Kevin cool. Kevin Smith, uh, Mike Zapsick, Jason Muse. You think Muse has got a comic in him? I Is that... definitely think he's got he's got more than one. I mean, he's a big one of the biggest comic book fans yeah. I know. Has he written one yet? Not yet. Okay. But he's... Hey, he's dabbled. He's he's directing now, so I'm thinking, you know, it's not that much of a stretch, right? So okay, you know, I he mean, knows how to he knows how to tell a story, so I would think that this would be perfect for him, actually. Right. Uh, I mean, and you know, say you do write that perfect story that you've been always wanting to write. This could be a chance for some of our artists, friends of the family, to maybe step up and help us out with some artwork. And Yeah, I got a couple uh, in mind, so yeah. Yeah, the uh, and you know who you are if you're watching this. Uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of our very talented uh, creator and artist friends out there. Wow, this is huge. So um, 2022, ma- was it Masquerade? Masquerade, yes. It's a, he said an eight, uh, eight issue? Yeah. Eight what, issue mass Avenger tale about a anything you can tell us about has is it written already? Is, I have do you know? no idea. I don't know anything about this stuff. All I know is, uh, you know, Kevin told me that we this is this dropped yesterday. Okay, dropped yesterday in in uh, real time now. Yes, but it's not until tomorrow for right. us. So, which is very cool. And he said, "Yeah, absolutely, we can drop this um, news." So it's going to be all over the uh, the interwebs. Right, right, right. I imagine there's going to be significant marketing and promotion behind this. And, uh, you know, what better? <laughs> it means like, how do I get my, my hands on some of that marketing money? Well, no, not that. Right. But I just yeah. imagine this is pretty big news. Uh, I mean, you know, that's, the comics the world of comics has been suffering the last two years. There have been a little bit. A but... couple announcements. I think this is big a big kind of shot of adrenaline, in my opinion. Yeah, I think so as well. This is, uh, is going to be huge. And, you know, we've been bringing in a lot more independent books. And uh, Dark Horse, while not the indie darling it used to be, because they're, no, they're mainstream, on, they're, they're, they're like indie. part of the, part of the uh, big f- five? Big four. Uh, big four, big uh, five. Sure. Sure, why not? Five, let's, yeah. Let's call them five. Yeah. You know, DC, Marvel, Image, Dark, right, Horse, Dark Horse, and... Dynamite. You Dynamite, Dynamite yeah. in there. Yeah. Um, there are a couple other ones, but uh, IDW. Yeah, there are a few. There's, there's IDW, yeah. yeah mostly licensed stuff. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I, I um, well, I'm good on Dark Horse. I imagine, I don't know if other comic uh, companies maybe courted Kevin... You know, was there a bidding war? We don't know. No but clue. But I'm, I, I, Frank, I, I, um, personally, I'm shocked it took this long for well, Kevin to launch his own publishing arm. Well, it's Kevin's a busy guy. You I know. know um, I know. This is, he, this has got to be like insane for him. Although I think it's great that he's like getting a jump on this stuff. So sure. 
I'm sure he's got them all in the um, the tank right now. So. Yeah, like I said, I thought this was overdue. I, I'm sure there are comic scripts that he wrote and never, you know, they they they're just sitting there waiting to be waiting to have art put on them, yeah. waiting to put have uh, uh, lettering, comic bubbles, um, zap, bam, sure, explosions, uh, like, editors' huh? notes. Uh, ads. Are, are we going to have editor's notes? Because that would be so cool. I mean, bring back the editor's notes, folks. Oh, man, can we get our own ads in there? Like, can there be an ISO Comics uh, ad for ISO Comics? Well, that, that happened once, remember? Yeah, DC, DC Comics. Comics. Yeah. Like, uh, it's funny because if you go through some back issues, uh, sometimes you pull one out and there's a there's a big half-page ad for ISO Comics with me and you on there. Yeah. That was a... Uh, those were cool. I never even kept any of those issues for whatever oh, reason. Oh, dude. Well, I'll have to find them for you. I think I was just so in shock that we were in a DC comic. I, was, I didn't even think to to uh, to keep one. But, um, yeah, I mean, geez, man. And then the View Skew stuff, uh, this will be coming so fall 2022, so off the heels of Clerks 3. Yep. So, uh, you know, the View Skew universe will be in the spotlight. Back in prominence, yes. And Kevin will have the freedom to tell backstories, side stories, Absolutely. spinoffs, expand new characters, uh, you know what have you. Um, that, yeah, that's pretty. That's, this that's is all, it's this big. Is, it's this, huge. This is awesome. I'm excited for what the future holds. I my head is spinning right now, ladies and gentlemen. I, well, I'm envisioning the big secret stash like booth. You know where we're like, you want? Yeah, you want to be there. You you want to you want to be signed. We'll come there. do it like a two hour signing. Yeah, you want to go and sign there. I mean, right. I, I should probably write something, but it'd be cool I think if that we had would a be book, good. man. Yeah, this is again. Well, we got one. I mean, we got the book and record. So I'm you know, if you want to glom onto that, you can do all the editors. Notes right, for me. the adventures of, of Mike and Ming in the in the, fifth, <laughs> in, the in the eighth dimension. You and know, then, uh, what was that the cornfield horror? Oh yeah, the Mighty Men. Yeah, maybe, <laughs> yeah we go. have a book about us. <laughs> <laughs> Independently published at Garrett Gunn and uh, our, our our friend uh, Mike and um, yes. our friend Garrett Gunn as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our he's friend our fr- uh, friend over at he's over at Source Point Press. But um, yeah, man. Th- th- I mean, it, it was it, you know man, I don't know how many issues were published. A hundred, two hundred, five hundred. Very limited run. Very limited run. This could uh, I mean. It's a real book. Mike's probably been uh, throwing them onto the you know. Hey, I got kindling. He is, he did not like them uh, on fire. Right. They're actually somewhat valuable. They're very Are they rare. really? Yeah. Wow, cool. Yeah, yeah. I, I I may have an issue or two laying around that. Uh, hey, that's cool. That I might have signed a couple that we might throw up online. So. Yeah, very nice. Wow. Well, I, yeah, this is cool. I hope to see a Mike Zapsic comic book, the long-awaited Mike Zapsic comic I, book, on the Secret Sesh imprint. That would be so cool. It, it would be cool. I was like, when did you write this? I was working at the store. You know, for the past thirty years, I've been writing this book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, if there were no no better time than now. Yes, it's sure. true. Very good, very good point, Ming. Even uh, even if you wrote half of it, I could write the other half. It'd be like an anthology, like a All two-parter. Right. Okay. It, can we do the one where you flip it upside down? Like oh, the flip one books. Half, yeah. I have the other one. Yeah, sure. Why not, um, Ming? Yeah, I just need I just need a story idea. Like <laughs> one. Ming's gonna go out on the the streets and you have a story idea I can borrow, right? And it won't be about a guy who finds a superhero suit and he loses the instructions and. Uh, oh, they, <laughs> that, are you kidding? <laughs> they, they did that already. I know, but it, hey, they had, most of the people out there are like, "What the hell is he talking about?" Not only like, did oh. they do that already, then later on, the guy who was in the suit wrote a comic book about being in the suit. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, which I don't know what happened to that. Book, I, it's. But. Uh, well, from what I understand, William Cat is uh, one of the nicest guys on the con circuit. So he absolutely is. Cool. Yes. Yes. Wow. Well, uh, great luck. Um, it said it just says fall twenty, so no yep. concrete date. No, no date on here, but that's perfectly fine with me. I really want to know how far, like, how many issues are written, uh, mass grade. How deep Kevin is into this? I would have to assume that he's he's done all eight already. He's so ready to go. Yep. So, you know, let's say they come out like September and then, yeah, they, uh, uh, up until like April, May 2023 of uh, uh, monthly issues, I'm assuming. And yeah. then the view skew books. And then, I man, uh, you know, it'd be cool if he did, you know, the, the, the comics that um, in the beginning of Mallrats. Now, I know. Oh, uh, those would be cool. Great. I know. Yeah, I know some of the characters are not owned by Dark Horse, uh, like the uh, the ones by Joe Quesada and right and uh, Jimmy Palmiotti. The um, not me. Ash. 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 Yeah, but you know, but the Adventures of Buttman. 
Oh, come man. on. Who wouldn't want to see I, that? Who wouldn't buy that? I know. He's driving around in a Volkswagen. Who come buy on. That? Sign, you know, signed by Ben Affleck. Oh, like, who wouldn't Lord. want that? The Fantastic Two about uh, Priscilla Barnes' I, I, character. We might get sued on that one, but that's still fine. Right. Um, you know, Brandy, The Last Girl on Earth. Yeah. I'm trying to remember all the titles now. Um, what was it? Wasn't it? Um, yeah, Brody Man, Brody Man comics. Um, yeah, man. The, I've, that's just my idea. I don't maybe, you know. Third Eye Misfit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah all those fake comics are, for, are awesome. Uh, the Chasing Amy comic from Chasing Amy. Yeah. Like a fleshed out. Why not? Well, um, yeah. <laughs> At, well, I mean, they did Blood Man and Chronic, but. Yeah. Um, I mean, a lot of, lot of material that that could finally see baby the Dave, light of it. baby I'm Dave, baby Dave, the baby Dave comic. Oh man, <laughs> written this, by Jim Lee. How? Oh, Jim Lee, Jason Lee, right. with art by Jim Lee. That would be cool, right? And then, uh, yeah, like a whole run of Bloodman and Chronics, though, like a oh, like sure. a hundred issue run, Bloodman and Chronics comics. The, the, the sky's the limit, my friends. The sky's the limit. I so congratulations to Kevin. Oh. So proud of you, Can't boss. Can't wait to hold that. Yeah. I mean, assuming there's going to be a massive signing launch party in I've, here. Yeah, that sounds like something we'd do. Secret Stash imprint launch party at the Secret Stash. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. I, I, what great timing. I know. I'm, what I'm great very, timing. very happy about that. So. This could be... And then the movies? The movies? Oh, yeah. Like the, the, the SSCU? Uh, the Secret Stash Cinematic Universe? Yes. I mean, there, there kind of is that already, though. It's Clark's. called the Viewisk Universe, yes. Right, right, right. But one's based on the comic books, though. Well, maybe one based on the character that you create. That'd be cool. You'd be swimming in it. You could be freaking, like, you could you could be swimming in Marvel move, Marvel money. <laughs> but not Marvel no, money, but so. Secret Stash Cinematic Universe. You that never know. Dark Horse money. That'd be nice. You never know. James the, Gunn could direct your movie. Legendary. Legendary films. Right. That'd be awesome. I just think in the trajectory, it's not... I'm not talking on my ass here. This has happened. No, I mean, Dark Horse, they... uh, Frank Miller, he got to direct a movie. He did. So... That wasn't RoboCop 3. Exactly. Thank God. (laughs) Um, It was the spirit. And, yeah, Samuel L. Jackson had a really weird lisp for some reason, but whatever. That was okay. Yeah. And, you know... Scarlett Johansson had those really long eyelashes. But which... uh, um, spin-off TV show, Secret Stash Plus, uh, like you know, like Disney Plus, Comic Book Men Revisited. Oh, dude, that could happen, right? I'm, I mean, I'm could. Thinking, I'm counting on it. I mean, I'm thinking way ahead because we were talking a comic book imprint. All of a sudden, we have a TV network and a <laughs> TV and movie, That'd be awesome. like a movie. Like a whole, like a whole movie, like publishing house. No, I just heard TV. myself. I just heard myself say that uh, I'm counting on it. I, I heard uh, Grandpa Joe from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate right. Factory going, "I'm counting on you to get all five. I'm like, "Yeah, Grandpa Joe, you lazy." But sack they, they of got shit. one. They got one. Not only did they do that, they got to the factory. They got. And now he owns the factory. Yeah. Come on, come on. Did I ever tell you? And I think I did. It was <laughs> okay. in an, an Amazing Heroes. And they used to do this April Fool's issue. Okay. And they would tell you, like, what's coming out. And Amazing okay. Heroes was always like, here's what's coming out six months from now. And, and you'd read, and you'd be like, oh, cool. Spider-Man's getting a new costume. Okay. All right. It's going to be all, all, it was red and black. Right. And you're like, that's great. But they had this one that said um, it was uh, Willy Wonka and the Agents of uh, Thunder. Okay. And I don't know if you remember the Agents of Thunder. I they do were. not. Agents Explain. of Thunder was a Tower comic book um, back in the day, and then it was another. It was uh, created by Wally Wood and a, a bevy of other uh, very talented artists. And okay, it was Tower Comics was essentially Image before Image was Image. It it didn't last very long, but you know they went for it, and this is back in like the the late sixties. And the Agents of Thunder were all UN-sanctioned superheroes. So they would go on missions. I think they got the idea for Stormwatch from that. Yeah. So, but um, this is pre-Image Comics. And um, Willy Wonka saw that Charlie was was treating the Oompa Loompas horribly. And he was like a megalomaniac. Uh, He had chosen poorly. Uh, when he gave Charlie the factory and he wanted it back, <laughs> oh, so but he got locked out. He was right. locked out. Well, of it's his not his factory. anymore. He handed the deed over. He to did. Charlie. Schmuck. Always, always, always put in that 
that oh, the, uh, the that loophole. writer. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so he hires the agents of uh, Thunder to go in and you know fight the Oompa Loompas. <laughs> it's a hostile retake over. Yeah. And it, it was one of their April Fools jokes, and I right. was like, "But I wanted." But to this read. could be a real. I thing, wanted to man. read that thing, and now right. it, can, it can be again. Wow. Um, I'm, yeah, I, but I'm thinking if you if you write a book, if I write a book, we could do the whole comic store tour signings. Like this is a motivation to just like get a story out. We could actually read the book on. Uh, we could do like a reading. Yeah, we could. We could a yeah, new podcast for you, man. Right there, you go. Like you, you need another podcast. I always, I always. Know, you do. You've got like a, a two-hour space in your life. Always. Oh, well, I'm excited about this, and not, not, and not to be pretentious, and not be like if I wrote any piece of crap, like oh, we'll we'll make that. <laughs> it's got to be good. But so you get turned down like 20 times. Do you, do you go for that 21? Yes. Because 21 is the magic number, it's, right? It's Boom. persistence. So, yeah. That's not right. Everything, not everything is going to work out. The first that's right, son. Times. Yeah, get your ass a, a right. This could see the the book and Mike's has a book and record could see the light of day. That would Secret, be so Secret cool. Stash comics. There's that no be better awesome. time than now. Now, my friends. But I I I can't wait to go to other stores. I'm like, oh, there's a Secret Stash imprint book. Yeah, how cool is that? It's cool. You might even get somebody might come up to you and say, hey, Ming, would you sign this while right. you're like, yeah, you're at Vault of Midnight in in Detroit. Hey Ming, would you sign this? Oh, for us? that'd be cool to see the secret stash like yeah. book at vault. Yeah, yeah, man, I'd be happy to sign that for you. Right, we've kidded around about, or or we've talked about, you know, maybe perhaps writing our own book, and everyone's been, you know, hey, you've, you ever thought about writing your own book? And then, mm-hmm. you know, we still have to pitch it to. We've got friends, Dynamite, right. and other publishers, IDW, whatever. But it doesn't guarantee anything. No, and and neither does this. But I mean, it it said. They were looking for other people. Yeah. This is a, a, a shot. At right. Least. At least we get to maybe step up to the plate, not just be the water boy or in the stands or outside the, the stadium begging for a ticket <laughs> or, or at home watching on, on a broken TV. Yeah, right? Yeah. This, you know, it's Why'd us, you break that TV, man? Ah, they wouldn't. I got mad at it. <laughs> 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 this show sucked. I shot it. They <laughs> like Elvis. I hate Tucker Carlson. Yeah. Uh, um, so you're, on, you're going on vacation. Yes. Can you reveal where, what, what, taking, any details? Taking four days, going to the Poconos, just going to get away for a little while. A local trip, somewhat yeah. local, an hour, hour and a half drive. Yeah. Hot Dog Johnny's, going to go to Hot Dog Johnny's. Uh, shout out to Hot Dog Johnny's in Pottsville, New Jersey. Love Hot Dog Johnny's. Mike loves the buttermilk they have there. The... Uh, not a big buttermilk. That was that was my dad, but <laughs> yes. The birch Why? beer is amazing. Why? They literally, you get, uh, it's a deep fried hot dog. Uh, they fry it in olive oil. It comes with a pickle spear and ho- onions and mustard. Oh, it's amazing. And uh, their fries are really good. You can get a, a mug. You get a mug, an actual mug of root beer. Or an actual cold muck of buttermilk. Yeah. Why? Uh, Why the it's buttermilk? Close to the Amish country, I guess. I don't know. It's on the Pennsylvania, it just New Jersey seem border. Like it would pair well. But my dad swore by it, so I I don't Bill know. Bill Doctor Zapsic swore by yeah, it. Yeah, he did. Wow. Man, man lived to be eighty six. All right, it worked out then. Yeah. I guess those hot dogs and those that the ice cold. Buttermilk. I don't think he was going there every day, but right. yeah, it worked out. Are well you? For him. I don't know. Are you hiking Delaware Water Gap? Uh, oh, no, we're, gonna we're going go to Bushkill some... Falls. Going to go see the falls. Okay. Uh, do some stuff up there. Actually, we're going to the uh, the same Airbnb that we went to before, and it was really weird because I saw the juice up there. OJ Simpson? No, your car. <laughs> I saw the. Uh, it, it was so <laughs> weird. There was an identical replica of your car up there. I mean, they mass pro- my car is mass produced. There's nothing yeah, but it's orange, and you're the my only one orange. who's ever bought one, as far as I know. Right, right. They're out there. They're mostly sitting on lots. The orange Honda fits, but yeah, they do stand out. You know, twelve dollars. You can buy one for twelve bucks now. Oh, would I buy a whole bunch of them? That's just <laughs> such a great car. I'm sure. Well, Actually, you live out of it, so yeah. Not quite. No, not quite. Yeah, I mean, it looks like you do. Oh my god! It does. It's a lot of podcast gear in there. Yeah. Oh my and, god. And uh, yes. podcast gear, hockey jerseys, and uh, random comic books. Yep. For sure. How long are you going for? Uh, just four days. We'll be back. Just four. That's a long time. Man. Well, I mean, you know, most people take a week. I'm taking four days. Well, I'll be yeah. back on Saturday. Jules and I will be manning the station here. We'll be doing uh, that. Are you going to other comic book stores? Oh yeah, we're going okay. on a comic okay, so book. This is not call. a true vacation per uh, well, se. Well, you know you what? Can't get away, can you? Uh, no, never. Uh, but uh, we're also going to the Frazetta Museum. Oh, where's, yeah, Frank, where's Frank Frazetta? That, that I, is I was in. Not aware um, that they had one. Yes, I believe it is in East Stroudsburg. 
Frazetta. Uh, Pennsylvania, yes. Yes. I've been there. I don't know why, though. I think there was like trains up there or something. It's a big train town. I, there, I think they you're love right. The trains. Yeah. They love the railways up there. I, well, <laughs> they, were, they were all uh, railroad towns. Are there. Um, uh, are there shops you've been to up there? Are there ones yeah. you want to shout yeah. out maybe? Or um, let me, any let me good? Think. There's Pandora's uh, Toys and Collectibles. Okay. We like Pandora's. That was great. Uh, they're very big into the, the wrestling figures. Right. They've got really great um, selection of action figures. Right. Uh, a couple comic stores, but we're going to wing it. Okay. Just so. uh, If you pass one, great. If not, then... Uh, no, there, there are a couple there. And okay. there's, there's uh, you know, there's like a sweet spot down in... Southern New Jersey, uh, towards Delaware, there's like of a, a, of shops, of comic book shops. Yes, comic and toys and collectible shops. It's amazing. It's like um, well, what they not call like, an American Pickers, the honey hole. Right, not like up here. There's only one sweet store up here, and that's Jane Sound Bob's Secret <laughs> Stash. Don't you forget it. A way to get way to get in Kevin's good graces, man. Right. Well, no, I mean there used to be a number of stores here, and they mm-hmm. unfortunately there were. They're, they've gone out of business. I, I, I mean, I would talk about the Comics Plus was like not that far yeah. on the street. Actually, they had they three. Were, yeah, no, none, none. But, yeah, 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 yeah. So that, yeah, where's their comic book imprint? Maybe they should have <laughs> started their own their own imprint. Uh, maybe that might have saved them. Yeah. There was also the record store. Record store and, and, and Howell. Howell. Yeah, get big shout out to them. Um, Why? Because they're no longer there. A big right. shout out to their their desiccated corpse. <laughs> the, the, the empty building on Route 9. That's... They took down. They had you a went there, huge, though. Oh, yeah. You they had there? a huge cassette tape on the uh, the outside. They mm-hmm. built a cassette. Uh, they were trying to take it down and it just crumbled to dust. It crumbled. Yeah. Did it really? Yeah. Oh man! I know it was, it was up there for like twenty years. Yeah, I'm trying to remember the other areas. It was like Zap. I don't know if Zap Comics. Zap is still Comics around. is still over. So, okay, in cool, Alpen. cool. Okay, yeah. all right. Big shout they out moved. to them then. But yeah, we we like Zap. Zap's awesome. Yeah, but you um, found some pretty cool ones, like old school. Yeah, like Frankenstein comics. Frankenstein yeah. comics. Big shout the out. The comic to them. book store down in uh, Glassboro. Yeah. And um, oh my god, I'm, I'm blanking. I right like now, you go so. down there, like holy shit, it's Mike Zapsack. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. There was one guy who was really excited to meet me, and his name was George Perez. So it was awesome. <laughs> really? Yeah. Wow. Was he named after? Probably not. No, probably not. But was. yeah. But wow. God bless him. He he runs a, a tight ship. Yeah. I mean, you have to to stay alive. In, oh my God. Uh, this of climate. So. Yeah. Well, well, have a good vacation. Well, thank you. I hope the place doesn't like fall apart without you here. I hope not, but I'm I'm a phone call away, and I can be here in like an hour and a half. Right. Like, like how I'm I'm. I mean, I'm sure you monitor coming and goings. You can get stuff on your phone. Yeah. Like, you can, okay. I'll can, be watching. Right. <laughs> I'll be watching. Like, honey, what are you doing? I uh, just watching. Uh, hey, Sunday Jeff, Um, <laughs> you missed a spot. You missed a spot, Sunday Jeff. It's like, God damn it. Yeah, right. <laughs> I thought he was going on vacation. Yeah, that wasn't on the one. That wasn't in the dollar rack. Put that back. Right. Can are you can you talk remotely to people in the store? No, I wish you can't. That'd be great, that would be awesome. Oh man, I mean, there's got to be a way to do that. Well, <laughs> like, you know, what? go take a vacation. Get, know, take I'm, a break, man. I'm gonna take it's a been, little bit of a break. It's been a year, like we mentioned last year. It's yeah. been you've been here uh, last week. We've been, been here a year and uh, one year, and in, in the store has its own comic book imprint. I know. How right? baller is that? Well, I mean, the twenty. 24- Four years sure. before that, sure. but still. Sure, but I'm just saying, like, wow, like a new store, then new comic imprint. I know. How many people do that? Nobody. Kevin Smith does that. He does. Kevin Smith does that. He does. So just, that's pretty balls. Yeah, for sure. That is balls. Um, we didn't talk about this. Did you see the? Uh, all right, maybe this was this week. The uh, the meme. The. Uh, <laughs> did you see this? No, I you didn't did. see this. No, this is awesome. How could you miss this? So they, you know, of course, you know the 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 Spider Man cartoon meme. Of course, is this yeah. from the is this the one from the sixties? That's or actually is this the eighties. No, one? that that's from um, into the Spider Verse. Right. Yeah. So yeah, the the costumes are different because they all have webs. Right. Yeah. I mean, the old uh, the sixties one guy didn't have webs. Okay. Oh, like, well, or, right. And uh, you know, there's the famous Spider Man I mean, but yeah, they <laughs> That's awesome. It? That's fantastic. They they it was like they and they did it in the movie, which was awesome. It got a big, huge reaction in the theater. But then uh, this is courtesy of Entertainment Weekly. They got together back in their suits and they're they're like, Let's <laughs> it's you got it, yeah. I the internet, man. Sometimes it's not such a horrible place. No, seriously. Sometimes it's not just all death and destruction. So Yeah. Or hurt feelings. 
<laughs> um, but there is one thing that uh, just popped up. I don't know if. Right. I don't know if. Um, is it about the fake ass? No, oh. this is about uh, Elizabeth Olsen. Okay. She just signed on to Marvel for another seven years. Okay. So smart. What smart? So oh, she's a smart lady. Smart. That whole family, man. I they, know. My God. Women, yeah. They they can run their own nation. Man. They have so much money. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So uh, so does this presume one division two? I'm thinking uh, Wanda I, the Scarlet Witch solo series, a uh, solo series, solo movie. I think that's overdue. I mean, we got kind of <clears throat> got the movie, or not the movie, the TV series. Oh, that with, that kind of heat behind you, you got to do it, right? But you're th- you think she could do a whole, carry a whole movie without vision? Yeah, she totally could, of course. Oh yeah. Wow. Well, she's gonna she's gonna be a, a really strong pillar in Doctor well, Strange Multiverse of Madness. Yes. So, uh, speaking of which, I guess it's been confirmed. Patrick Stewart. Did you not hear his voice? I heard. We it. did speak about this. Uh, I heard it. But you know, you always you didn't believe it. I, I I mean that's pretty mind blowing news. But he he was like, well, shit, I can't. I'm confirming it. So why, why wouldn't he? So that's the. So do we? I mean, X Men, yes. right? So we it's will confirmed. see. We will see the um, at least some of the X Men. I'm sure in a <laughs> section of the Marvel um, that's multiverse. What we were waiting for for it's, twenty. 22 years me for 54 well, years for, for 54 God's okay yeah. yes yes yeah we've been <laughs> waiting to see this and we've been waiting to see them uh, i mean now everything's they can have a versus x they can have an <laughs> avengers versus x-men that's a movie that's a movie uh, i mean my god it, save it, your money now man because like, the, like you, just throw it at, at disney i've already done that i don't continue to do that and you <laughs> you will work for Disney, you will be the slave to the mouse. Yes. So, yes. Right. And rightly and oh, and man. willingly so. You'd be like, I want to see this. Avengers versus X. Can you imagine that? That's insane, right? I can't imagine. Uh, Jackman's got to come back, right? I. I why would hope so? Why? <laughs> why would you not want to play? They would, in that. Why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they back up that? You know. Huge truck well, full of money, that, but it's you know you know as well as I do, it's not always all about money. No, it's not about and having fun, being awesome. I think he would want to play in that sandbox. I just can't see anybody else. No. Can you? No, not right now. Yeah. So unless they they bring back Laura, Laura, um, did did she Laura McKin McKinney? I think her her name is. Yeah, yeah, the actress. Yeah. No, no, I'm saying not- Laura McKinney was the. Um, X twenty three. Oh right, right, right. Yeah. So maybe, oh, dude. Maybe they'll bring her in. I don't know. She was great. She was fantastic. <laughs> great. I yes. The uh, the future looks amazing, my friends. Yes, it does. Yeah. Uh, oh, back to the fake ass. So yeah, there's was, was a rumor that one of the Spider Men uh, had a padding, a fake ass. They won't. Re- they won't reveal who. So who would you speculate? Andrew Garfield. I mean, it's he says it wasn't him. Okay. So that narrows it down. I mean, <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know. This does um, does Tom Holland have America's ass? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know. I I I got to meet him once at Comic Palooza, two thousand eighteen, nineteen. I didn't I didn't stare at his ass though. Okay. So I was more. Well, you were trying not to. How about that? Not really. I just didn't happen though. I was okay. he. I went into a room. He was cutting his birthday cake. Oh, nice. And he did, was kind of facing him, forward. Did you get him a gift? No, I, I just, just what, what could I get Tom Holland? That'd be like, here, bro, happy birthday. He's like, who the hell are you? Yeah, and you're why, not. Are you allowed to be in here? And is, what is this? Is is this made out of gold? Because ew, ew. Yeah, if it's ew, not, I only do diamonds. Man. Yeah, sir, what the hell? Platinum, yeah. cheapskate. Yeah, you son of a bitch. Yeah, I mean, I would have guessed Tobey Maguire. He, you know, he's getting on in years. He's 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 up there. And really, yeah, I don't know. And I don't. Yeah, the white boy. You know, I don't. It, I'm. I, I, I bet his ass was padded in the other Spider-Man movies. Maybe it was. I don't know. I I I can't go that far. Yeah. I I only know that my ass isn't padded, folks, and it is the secret stash. Really, you don't ass. need it, no padding. <clears throat> no, no, no. 
No, are you kidding? That's all natural. Do it. Do it. No, nah, I'm not going to show. <laughs> show it, dude. Hey, you want to see Mike Zapsick's ass? You come down to the secret stash and you see stare my ass. At it. Pull up uh, the Speedo <laughs> episode of the freaking comic book, man. And you'll see more than you bargained or the, for. Or the Underoos episode. <laughs> or, I mean, my ass has been out there multiple it times. It has. You've left your ass hanging in the wind many it's a time. It's a nice ass, though. It's a uh, nice ass. Might not sure. be America's, China's ass, though, bro. It's, Taiwan's China's ass, man. I don't know. The, uh, <laughs> the you know, whatever. That you, and. And I'm sure there are Hong plenty. Kong's ass, Singapore's ass, Shanghai's ass. You name it, I'm there. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. What? Uh. Well, I. So, what? What are you reading this week? What are we reading this week? What we got. We actually, let's do the top five. Of, you have a top five? I've got okay. a top five okay. of are you Jay and Silent to- Bob's. <laughs> it's our what's hot and selling fast, folks. We've got. It's Follow Me Into the Darkness by Damian Connolly. Number one is out um, it's since it's Wednesday. Today. Okay. Um, so a horror book, I imagine? It or? is a horror book. Okay, it's cool, fantastic. Cool. Uh, War for Earth 3, uh, number one. Then we've got uh, Monkey Prince, number two. Okay, Monkey Prince. Uh, what read? If Miles Morales Became Captain America, numero uno. That's right here. And Strange, number one. Uh, and that is after the death of Doctor Strange, which uh, kind of didn't bury the lead in that title. So uh, Clea, I believe, takes up the mantle of Stephen Strange as Earth Sorcerer Supreme. Are these books in order? Are they ranked? No, I'm just. Oh, they're just top five. No, they're, they're, they're the, general top five. Yeah, just a general top five that are like, you know. All right, I saw this. You're like, dude, read this. I haven't read it yet because I just came in. It's actually it's pretty not... badass. I did read um, it. When <clears throat> is this a new line of what ifs that they came out with? What if there's going to be uh, multiples of these? And then there's uh, if you take a look, can at they back, just do these forever? Because I why not? OK, wow. It's a... Oh, so more. What if Miles yeah. Morales? What if Miles Morales became Weapon X? Notice anything different about that Wolverine? Uh, besides the colors and the, uh, let's see. Oh, well, there's another. He's got four claws. He's got four yes. claws. Pretty cool, huh? Well, with that extra claw, you could, you could rip more. You could bust more <laughs> shit up. Exactly. That's, that's what I was thinking. That's cool, man. I hope, I I mean, I, I, hope, I just hope they do these forever. I like the what ifs. Yeah. Our whole lives are based on what if questions. What ifs are awesome. So, yeah, that's usually at the from the mouth of Brian Johnson and uh, much more cruder as uh if you've watched Comic Book Men or of course. hung out with us, but yes. But you have a uh, War for Earth 3. War for Earth 3. This is uh and these are just the the top selling ones that are here folks. Uh War for Earth 3 is uh badass. It's um uh, I'm not going to give too much away, but Earth 3 is the evil world where the crime syndicate rules with an iron fist okay. instead of the Justice League of America. Ultraman, their version of Superman. Okay, not Ultra, um, not like not the Japanese no, Ultraman. No, not Ultraman, okay. although, although that would be pretty cool. That would be cool if he came and started <laughs> laying waste to everybody. Yeah. So he does. He lays waste to, uh, in the first, here are all these people who come, hey, look, it's Ultraman. And uh, for some reason, they, they all sound like uh, oh, extras. Oh, dude, Ultraman is pissed, man. They, they all sound like extras from The Sopranos. Hey, oh, Ultraman, what's going on? You, our coffers are full. And so he just burns them. He just uses his heat vision and fries everyone in there who's pretty much giving him props. So, um, and... Within the first like five pages, Amanda Waller and her Suicide Squad find a way to leap over to Earth Three. Earth Three, and Dude. basically, what she wants to do is she doesn't want to take over from him. She wants to help him govern. Wow! Well, so uh, written by uh, Robbie Thompson and Dennis Hopeless. So yeah. uh, art by Steve Pugh and Dexter Soy. Yeah, it's actually pretty and cool. Brent, oh, and our friend Brent Peoples. Yeah. <laughs> Brent, Brent did a great job. Brent, Brent, Brent's a character, man. We love him. Yeah, <laughs> we partied with him. <laughs> yeah, Brent kept me Good. from getting a, an ass whooping too. So yeah, when was that? Remember uh, one of the Power Rangers? That was Comic Palooza. That was Comic that was Palooza. Brent Peoples. Like, yeah. don't don't get involved. Yeah, don't get don't don't get don't this help is, him. This isn't your fight. No, no, it wasn't a fight. I'm like, hold on, wait, wait, wait there's no fighting I think here. He was kind of fighting himself. And yeah, there was right. Yeah. That was Brent Peoples. All right, well, yeah. thanks, Brent. Yeah, Where thanks, we, Brent. Uh, yeah, well, uh, um, Mike will now. Mike owes you one. I do. I don't know how, but yeah, we'll figure it out, Brent. Yeah, for sure. Um, 
Awesome. Shoot. Hey, I was going to say something. I lost my train of thought, but well, that's all right. <laughs> it's okay. But uh, to reiterate, congratulations, Kevin. Yes. Great job. Uh, very excited. This is the next evolution. Oh, um, oh, that was. I'm sorry. Um, what if I saw the omnibus back there? When did that come out? Yes, that came out last week. I, as every what if from the no, it's that's volume two. Okay, volume one is temporarily out of stock. Oh man, I know. Okay, they All always right. do that to me. Okay, volume two you can get now. You can get here at the yeah, stash and you get can. At your finer. What if Wolverine had killed the Hulk? It's a good one. Uh, what if what if Venom had uh, possessed the Punisher? That was one of my favorites. Uh, that's not that's until, volume one. Or? That's no, it's going to be the multiversal. Okay, the what if multiverse. Okay, so. Um, wow. This is what if the Fantastic Four hadn't gotten their powers, and what if Daredevil? Oh yeah, which we stole. We stole the cover for our uh, What If I Saw comics. Which yeah, was started by Tom Steve. David totally ripped it off. Thank you, Gavin. No, Smith. that was that was different one. Different one. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. yeah. A lot of what ifs. That's awesome. Man. So many what ifs. Wow. Well, so keep on the lookout. I'm sure there'll be multiple announcements when the first issue from Secret Stash comics yeah. drops. Start following Dark Horse people. Go go to the, all their uh, you know their social media. You know Dark Horse. Yeah. Darkhorse dot com at Dark Horse. Yeah. I I mean I'm I, I can only imagine this will mean even more con appearances by Kevin than he's gonna have to promote. Oh at yeah. Cons. And, Good um, on him. I mean, he's getting out there. He is. Check your calendar. He's <clears throat> everywhere this year. So, yeah. but this even maybe even more so now. Mm. And uh, that's cool. This is cool, man. Uh, that's awesome. Right on, man. Yes, pretty well, badass. Well, th- thank you for. Uh, yeah, you're like, dude. We got a major announcement. Oh yeah. I didn't think it would be this. I no, thought, this is. I'm telling you, I I told you I had something cool for uh, you. I thought you were like, we're getting more cheer Pat Yodas at the <laughs> store. I'm like, oh man, we, we got to push them. Yeah. No, no. Actually, I'm waiting for them. They have cat grass, chia pets, and my cat's like tearing cat, up cat the, grass. Yeah, cat grass, like that cat grass. Right, right. That, like cats chew on. Right. So, and it calms <laughs> them down. I think it's like cat marijuana. Yeah. Uh, oh, one other thing. I was in here yesterday, which is technically Sunday, but okay. Not, uh, it's packed. It's yeah. Packed. I don't know if everyone came to see Sunday Jeff or what. Oh yeah. Why wouldn't you? It was packed. It was good to see. It's Come and hang him. out with Sunday Jeff on Sundays. It was it's, freaking cold out yesterday too. Yeah, so I'm I know. Just saying, or maybe they were just coming in here because it was so damn cold out there. I saw people. Commerce, no, it's Sunday, Jeff. Saw commerce. Saw people buying stuff, man. Sunday, Love Jeff's it. the man. Get down here. Get down here. Pick up. Uh, oh, man. People are at your, the people's pull list. Like, oh, I need all the Secret Stash comics. Oh, How yeah. How cool is that going to be? Oh, that's going to be awesome. Yeah. Just not he, Not just here. Everywhere. Shops everywhere. Yeah. That's that's cool. Um, yeah, call your local comic shops, folks. Oh, man. Make sure. And if if you're not already, if you don't have a local comic shop, we can be your comic shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you'll pull. pull yeah, I'll pull do a pull list for you. Ship them. Yeah, give me a call or go to um, domestic email. only. But domestic yeah, only for sorry. now. Uh, go to um, email me your list, J and Bob Stuff at gmail dot com. Just the way it sounds, J and J A Y A N D B O B S T U F F at gmail.com i love it i yeah. love it i know scott hoverman from three alarm comics probably watching right now uh, is he trying to get like an inside on the secret stash like hey mike it's like hey hey uh you know um um remember me I'm sure mike will take care of you so. of course i will scott oh man uh, i just i i'm i can't wait to see that first like slabbed oh, of course. Comic oh book. my god yeah you know uh, maybe from our friends at three at uh pressing matters llc oh yeah yeah Darren, get on that, buddy. Darren Presto's secret stash books. Oh man, this is this is mind blowing, my friends. This is huge. Um, and you hear you heard it here, not first probably, but second. Yeah, <laughs> after Kevin, and probably uh, a little more in depth than a lot of people gave you. So, right. and besides, you got to to peek behind the curtain. Yeah, which for is sure. cool. Awesome. All right, all right, cool. That's all I got this week. I uh, hope you have a are having a great vacation. Thank you. I w- as of this <laughs> this stream, and um. Yeah, and uh, don't eat. I hope we don't get poison ivy or whatever. I, well, I'm not going to go out. Or and take I think a dump there are the bears world, up so. there, though, right? There are. But all right, so don't, what? Don't be a hero. <laughs> I See won't. See a bear be. run. Thanks, Ming. Yeah. All right. And there you go. Creature